Our solution for the growing plastic consumption is to produce polymers which are used in plastics inside the single cell marine organisms. So since the organisms produce it, the polymers are biodegradable, which means that they will, they will not take a lot of time in the sea and they will be decomposed very fast. That's a major difference from the regular plastic. But to make these polymers, microorganisms need food. And the food, in our case, comes from seaweeds. Seaweeds are marine organisms which we can grow in the sea without uh, any use of uh, arable land or drinking water. And that's why our process is very different from all others proposed today. All our production process is built on organisms which grow in the seawater. Same bacteria on both plates, uh, and, and why the growth is so uh, limited? We have marine manufactured bioplastic, which is a biodegradable. This is a, this could be a revolutionary product with a really low cost, with a target price of about one dollar per kilogram. This is the polyester. Polyesters are usually made from oil, but here it's manufactured by organisms. These plastics could be used for production of clothing, of food packaging, for containers, and many other applications. The biological organisms are collected, are removed from water, and then they are dried, crushed, and the polymer is extracted out of these materials. And then the polymer could be further processed and purified to reach specifications demanded by the industry.
The best thing that happened to the world is that China declared that it won't receive any more international garbage. And therefore suddenly everybody is piling up with their own garbage and they understand that they need to find a solution. And suddenly we find that there's a lot of new ideas. We see seaweed becoming into uh, new kinds of materials and hemp, which is made out of cannabis. And uh, there are new kinds of germs that are developed that eat the plastic and, and can create a solution. And others know how to make it go back into oil and to, to the basic material. There needs to be a lot more uh, money invested into this in order to have uh, research, also to understand the impacts of these new materials, and also in order to have real uh, markets develop, and it's all an issue of supply and demand. The once, once you see that there's more demand, the prices will come down, because right now the prices are still quite high. But governments need to invest in this. It needs to be a, a high priority for governments all over.